all right all right all right what's up what's good what's going on welcome to the war zone once again here we are with ufc fight night vegas 67 emavolf versus gastelum so y'all know the drill man we're gonna start uh this off with some predictions some parlay picks some breakdowns we're gonna start from the early prelims and work our way all the way up to the main card so let's not waste any time man let's get right into it so first up in the women's flyweight division we've got priscilla cochiera against sahara eubanks so priscilla cochiera man well-rounded um this girl can grapple she's got decent power um and her striking she is definitely the, the superior striker in this uh, matchup um however sahara eubanks my hometown girl springfield massachusetts this girl's a wrestler she's got really heavy hands um i like her cardio um i hope she comes in uh in in, in her best shape of her life if she makes this fight an ugly fight and win the takedowns man she's got a really good chance of uh um making this fight closer um however i'm gonna go with priscilla cochiera man she's just the better all-around fighter man this girl's strong she's smart in the rings and uh i think she edges it out so priscilla cochiera man by decision in this one all right moving on the men's bantamweight division we've got Matus Mendonca against Javid Bashra. Um, listen, man, this is a really, really good matchup. I'm gonna tell you right now, this card, this this card right here is a really tough matchups, man. Um, I, I was able to pick out a few uh, safe bets and parlay picks, but uh, the rest are really toss ups, man. Um, Matus Mendonca, man, this guy can strike. He's got BJJ. His jujitsu is crazy. This guy's got crazy elbows. Um, this is his debut. But they are putting him in the ring against a complete monster in Javid Basharat. This guy can grapple. And there's no way I see Mendonca out, out grappling Basharat. Um, by the way, he has a brother that also um, fights. Um... This guy's got great defense. He can strike. Um, both of these fighters are undefeated, but I think the safe bet in this one, man, would be Javid Basharat. I would go with him. Uh, I just think he has more tools in the toolbox. He's he's uh, just completely dominated his first few uh, matches in the UFC. I'm gonna go with Javid Basharat to um, pull it out in this one. Next up. In the men's flyweight division we've got jimmy flick versus charles johnson oh my god i never thought i would see jimmy flick again man listen man i was a huge fan of jimmy flick i'm a huge fan of charles johnson um jimmy flick was just someone who i saw could really 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 challenge for a title in the ufc man um he's not much of a striker but this guy can grapple and his ground game and his um submission game is just crazy the way he transitions on the ground he never stops uh, uh um transitioning for for um in jujitsu for for uh submissions man this guy is always fishing he's like i said he's not much in the feet man um but he's been off for two years um he retired and i'm just afraid that he's just back for a money grab man i really don't know what flick we're going to see um i'm gonna stay away from this fight because charles johnson is a former two division champ from the lfa Oh, this guy is a striker. He's got great kicks, great hands, great footwork. This guy comes forward. Um, 
he does have problems against grapplers um but he knows how to defend himself very very well so i think takedown defense in this match is going to be um something that he he's going to have to um uh, be on point with but on the feet it's a no it's no contest charles johnson is the better fighter on the feet um by far jimmy flick's just going to be looking to get this fight to the ground i'm giving the edge to charles johnson but i'm staying away from this fight if i were you because if jimmy flick comes in like the old jimmy flick man charlie's in for a long night next up in the men's welterweight division we've got abdul razak hassan against claudio ribeiro um abdul hassan we all know his power this guy's got judo he throws a lot of wild looping shots um he does have decent power um i think the only way he's going to be successful in this fight is by utilizing his wrestling um which he doesn't at all pretty much um ribeiro ribeiro um he's gonna have the striking advantage this guy's coming straight forward his job his 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 uh um motive is to just come forward march you down knock you out um this guy's got he's got good defense um he's a dog man um boxing experience and he's got decent takedown defense so um i think the safe bet here man is going to be claudio ribeiro man i gotta go with him man um yes gotta go with um claudio uh ribeiro in that one all right next up we've got omar morales versus matus rebecca so matus rebecca man um omar morales this guy's kickboxer he's very strong he's a come forward fighter um he does he can take you down um his chin is kind of suspect um matus rebecca this guy here is uh he's a grappler big striker uh throws with bad intentions this guy's got cardio he's got pace he's very dangerous i'm going with matus rebecca uh in the in the, in his debut and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna throw him in for a parlay pick man so uh yeah man i i, I mean i think he he's uh he's just a better fighter here man and um i think he gets it done i truly truly think he think he think he gets it done all right so next up in the men's bantamweight division we've got umar namagamedov against ronnie barcelos oh my god this is a crazy 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 one man i think the safe bet here is going to be umar namagamedov but he is in there against a monster and honey barcelos um as we all know umar namagamedov he is out of khabib's camp um this guy is undefeated 15 and 0 uh he's a grappler um he can strike uh he is a very dominant dominant fighter man he looks to take you down and control you on the ground man get some ground and pound in and, and possibly sub you however he's fighting honey barcelos man well-rounded this guy can he's got really devastating kicks takedown defense he's got power better overall uh, f uh mma fighter this guy can grapple as well he's a world-class grappler as well so but i think that the relentless grappling and the controlling of uh Nomaga Medoff, man um because he knows how to put his weight on his opponents i think he gets it done um i think he's a safe bet i wouldn't go as far to say as a parlay piece but uh you guys pick your own poison 
So, uh, yeah, I got to go with um, the Mega Medoff in that one, man, to uh, to get it done. Next up in the men's featherweight division, we've got Dan Arguera against Isaac Dolgarian. Wow. Okay, so Dan Arguera, man, this guy's short, stocky, strong. He's a wrestler. Uh, low volume though um, he's just looking to get this fight to the ground puts a lot of pressure on his opponents trying to set up a takedown um, Isaac Dolgarian though this guy is a high level wrestler as well yet the difference in this fight is this guy can strike and he's got a great sub game man um, his cardio is through the roof and he's very very dangerous I'm going to go with the newcomer, man. The guy coming in. You guys pick your poison in this one, man. I'm staying away from this one, but I think Isaac Dolgarian can get it done. I think he's just uh, better all around, man. And uh, he's going to find a way to uh, pull this one out, man. So Isaac Dolgarian um, by decision, man. Next up. In the women's bantamweight division, we have Ketlin Vieira versus Raquel Pennington. Um, wow. So, this is a really, really good fight here as, as well, guys. Um, Ketlin Vieira, man, she's got power. She's got takedowns. Um, this girl's got decent ground game and with ground and pound. Uh, she's well-rounded. Um, she has been known to slow down later in the fight. So she's going to have to look to win the early rounds of this fight. Raquel Pennington, man, 10-year veteran. Um, you know, most of her losses, when you look at her record, man, to champions or former champions, um, this girl's got great control against the cage. Uh, she is going to have the more volume in this, this fight. I give the edge to her in striking, but... Um, Vera is just strong and relentless and she has that that power man um, uh, this is a toss up fight this is a pick em fight um, I'm staying away from it um, but if I was to give anybody the edge it would probably be Ketlin Vieira in that one alright next up in the men's flyweight division, we've got a few flyweight fights here tonight, man. Alan Nascimento versus Carlos Hernandez. So, um, Alan Nascimento, man, this guy, he can strike. Um, uh, this guy, he's a brawler. Um, decent grappling, man. Um, this guy can sweep you off of the ground if he does land on his back. Um, but he loves to put pressure on his opponents. Carlos Hernandez, man, he's got um, power. He can strike. He can grapple. I like his jab. He's got a great jab. And um, this guy is dangerous with that with that BJJ. This here is a pick em fight as well, man. Um, I really don't know who to give the edge to in this one, man. But probably Alan Nascimento, man, um, you know, as the fight goes on. Um and because of his experience. So I'm going to go with Alan Nascimento, man, to uh, to figure out a way to pull it out, man. Moving, moving on to the featherweight division, we have Dan Ige versus Damon Jackson. Wow. So Dan Ige, uh, veteran. This guy's been around. He's got the power advantage in this one. This guy's got really good kicks. He's going to have the speed advantage. He's got BJJ as well. He's tough. Um, and we all know Damon Jackson, man. Um, Damon Jackson's just looking to get this fight to the ground. Um, he, he's got the suspect striking. Um, he is coming off a KO win over Pat Sabatini, which surprised me. And I'm sure a lot of other people. This guy can grapple and he's a sub threat as well. But I think Danny Gay is just got too much power, man. I think Danny Gay uh, gets it done in this one, man. Um, 
later on in the fight i say third round dan ige stops him man catches him with something heavy so i got dan ige in this one man even though i can't count um damon jackson out but best believe i'm putting nothing on this fight at all next next up we have the men's welterweight division we got puna hele soriano against roman kapilov puna hele soriano man this guy's got power decent grappling this guy he can wrestle um however he has been suspect to being taken down i mean he's been known to be taken down um um uh, but um this guy's got some really really good power and his power carries throughout the entire fight um now roman kopilov this guy's a, a good kickboxer very low volume starts really really slow comes on later on in the rounds um but um terrible ground game man i don't like his ground game ground game but he does have the power man if you if you make a mistake this guy can hurt you and he can finish you um i'm going with puna Heles soriano i think he can uh i think he could possibly uh, get a stoppage in this fight in the second round um i just think that uh roman kapilov man is going to uh come to a point to where he's going to be desperate in this fight and he's going to need a knockout and he's going to make a mistake and he's going to get caught with something so um yeah my my pick is puna Hele soriano in that one next up the men's welterweight division oh my goodness we've got a we've got a fight here people however this is a parlay pick here this is the lock pick of the night um man there's there's just absolutely no doubt in my mind man that uh shafkat rockmanoff wins this fight so get your parlay picks in now man um before this line um goes up any higher i think he's probably at minus 380 right now but i i can figure this being around seven going up to 700 man by the time the fight rolls around uh jeff neal um this guy can strike he's definitely the better striker he's got he's got nice head movement defense he's got power He's got uh if he can keep his range in this fight he'll make it a very difficult fight um he's got kicks but his grappling is going to be his downfall for this fight um because shavkat rachmanov is a problem for anyone this guy's got power he's undefeated 100 percent finish rate he can grapple he can sub you he can ko you uh people put the house on Rachmanov, uh and do it now so um i just don't see any path of victory for jeff neal against um this individual um so um like i said that's a lot pick of the night all right people here we are with the main event of the evening we have nasadine imabov against kelvin gastelum Imovolf is also um for me is a lock uh tonight man um this guy can grapple uh he's a come forward guy he's got power um he throws big elbows um hopefully he comes in and in and in, 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 you know tip top shape uh but i don't think he needs uh, you know kelvin gasolum just hasn't shown me much at all lately man um i think he's here for check um he does have power he does have wrestling um but i think he's closing in on his retirement man i think he you know i you can sort of tell the fighters man that are just around man to get paid because the ufc is loyal to them uh, kelvin gaslam's one of them guys man i mean the, the ufc loves kelvin gaslam um he's been in some wars he's been in with the best but nasser dean i just think he's he's just the um He's a younger fighter, man, and I think he's just uh, uh, too strong, man. I think he's too strong. Um, Kelvin's uh, lost his last two fights. Uh, Imovolf has won his last three. So, well, actually, 
Kelvin is one and four, where uh, Nasser Dean is four and one in his in his last five. So, I mean, it's a no brainer to me. A lot um, parlay pick Nasser Dean Imabov. Uh, for me is it, it, just a no brainer well people thank you thank you for tuning in please subscribe to the channel if you haven't please hit the bell icon for notifications man we need your support um, please help me to get to um, at least 5,000 subs by the new year man if you can I appreciate it if you can sub to the channel um, and we truly thank you for, for your support Peace and blessings to all. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And we're out. Peace.